Yo, what's going on my fellow graphic designers? Welcome back to another photo pee tutorial. In this one, I'm gonna be showing you guys how you can make a super sick outro screen or end screen, whatever you wanna call it. This one looks pretty cool and uh, that's all I'm gonna do today. So without further ado, let's get started. All right, so once you're at photopea.com, go ahead and click on new project. And for the dimensions, we're gonna do 1920 by 1080, 1080 p quality and hit create. Now down in the description, I'm going to leave you guys a background that I'm going to be using in this tutorial. You can use it if you want or you don't have to, but I'll leave it there if you guys want to use it. So I'm just going to drag that in and make it bigger. Make sure to hold shift so it doesn't like do this because then it looks all stretched and stuff. Hold shift like that. I'm going to center it. Okay. And now we're going to add some text. So go ahead and go to your type tool over here on the left. Center align it up here and we're going to choose EDO click anywhere on your canvas and type in whatever you want. I'm going to type in thanks for watching. Also, this template will be down in the description below, so you don't have to make it if you don't want to. Make it a little bit bigger. Let's change the size to like 200 and see what that looks like. That's a little too big. Let's just control alt T and resize it ourselves. Um, yeah, what what is this? 172 works pretty good. Now we're going to go up to warp. For the style, we're going to choose arc and about 9% bend and hit OK. We're just going to move that up here for now. Now double click on that text, go to color overlay, and we're going to change the color to white. And we're going to add an outer glow. Change the blend mode to normal. I'm going to turn the opacity down to like 47. I'm going to change the color to white. And I'm going to turn the spread and size up. Yeah, like that basically. Okay, we're done with that text. Hit okay. Now we're going to add the two little video boxes. So go to your rectangle tool on the left. Go up to fill and make sure to choose the X. So it's transparent, go to stroke, choose the red one and then choose white. And for the PT, we're going to do 22 and we're just going to left click anywhere and type in 1280 by 720 and check from center. And now we're just going to control alt T and resize it. We're just going to move it down here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn distances on. I can see the distance from each side, which will help me line it up. So once I get it the right size. Let's see. That looks pretty good. I'm going to move it like right here. I'm going to hit control J and move the other one over here. And this one is 169 over here and this one is yeah we're gonna do 170 from each so we got that now ready to add the circle so right click on this rectangle tool and choose the ellipse we're just gonna draw out the ellipse and we're gonna have to push these back a little more so about a hundred on each side if we can so now it's looking pretty good we're gonna turn distances off and we're going to add an outer glow to all those shapes we just made. And it should have saved your effects, so it should be the same for all of them. Like that. I'm going to select all these and click this, uh, not that one, this one. So they're all, you know, lined up. And turn distances off. Okay, we're getting closer to the end. You guys could tweak all this, add a different color glow, whatever you want to do. Now I'm going to go to my rectangle tool again. This time turn the stroke off, but add a black fill. I'm just going to draw a line down at the bottom like that. And make sure it's black. For some reason it was still transparent. I'm going to turn the opacity down on it to about 45. And I'm going to type in some text with this font. Make it white and the size is pretty big so i'm gonna turn it down okay like and subscribe for more content like this just 
type in something down there that you want to type in. Make sure that this rectangle you made is like below everything. Your text is above it. And now we're just going to center it. And add a glow around it. Turn the opacity down on this one a little bit because the text is smaller. And yeah. Maybe turn it up a little bit more. A lot of tweaking. All right, looks pretty good. So now we're done. Now you just want to go up to file, export as PNG, 100% quality and hit save. And then just drag this at the end of your video and your video editing software and extend it for like 10, 15 seconds. And you can put some music behind it and you're good to go. And then once you upload it on YouTube, you'll have the end screen option and you can put your videos in here and your channel here. That's how you do that. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, leave a like and subscribe. I make a lot of other content like this. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.